It's only the third time in 11 years that Coach has actually reported a negative quarterly same-store sales for results in North America. Really an ugly report all around. The company missing when it came to profits, also revenues. For the first time, really acknowledging, look, things were tough out there. The holiday season was very promotional. It was challenging. And they also said that competitive factors have yeah. risen. And of course, that's really the bigger story behind Coach. Right? Has the company finally met its match when it comes to the competition? And of course, we're talking about Michael Kors, the Kors other publicly traded Coach. company. Yeah. Exactly. And here's a very interesting thing. You know, when I was talking to analysts about this, a lot of people say, look, Coach really developed the accessible luxury category, right? They were the first ones to come out there, create this max luxury kind of product, really grew with it. There's been a lot of competition along the way. They've blown past of it. The problem now this time, Michael Kors, really well capitalized after that IP. PO. Also, hitting the market at the time when Coach is at a very mature phase of its lifestyle cycle, right? They're very mature. They have over 800 stores in North America. Where's the growth? Michael Kors now is the new growth story. Accessible luxury. How much is a Coach handbag? You know, their sweet spot is about $300 in the U.S. So when you're talking about accessible luxury, usually anywhere between $200 and $600. And John Scully is with us, the former CEO of Apple. He's all about emerging markets and China and tapping into consumers there. And this is a big theme for Coach as well. Yeah, absolutely. So China is definitely one of their big growth markets. And so is the men's business. They're really trying to develop the Coach men's brand to try and capitalize on that new market. Here's the issue, though. You know, on the cover of Women's Wear Daily today, they had this big article from Coach saying they want to become a lifestyle brand. That's the new buzzword Not when just it comes handbag. Not just handbags, they want to A lifestyle brand, that sounds like Apple. Well, you know, uh, what uh, attracted uh, Steve to what we were doing at Pepsi was that we sold the experience, not the product. And Apple still does that. It sells the experience. I wonder if Coach thinks that way. Are they selling the product or are they trying to sell the mystique and the experience of the brand? You know, I think when they first started out, they definitely were trying to sell the product, right? A really good quality luxury handbag that was a good price point. Now they're trying to sell that experience, that lifestyle of Coach. So in fact, you know, I was driving the by aspirational one of their lifestyle. Exactly. I was driving by one of their stores this morning and in the windows, it was interesting because you didn't really see a lot of handbags in the windows. You saw everything else. You saw hats, you saw shoes, you saw oh. a trench coat. They're really trying to get everything. The problem with that is though, right now, everyone thinks about Coach as a handbag brag only, right? When you think of coach, you think of accessories, you think of handbags. Can they really make the shift from that to a lifestyle clothing brand? Michael Kors and Tory Burch, they went at this in a very yeah. different way. They started with this 360 degree view of the brand. They came up with everything at the same time. So now it's a lot easier for them to be that lifestyle brand versus coach, which is trying to play catch They're up. readily identifiable as that. Uh, Coach's stock had done very well up until recently too. Yeah, they have. I mean, look, this is one of the darling stories, right, of the decade until about the past six months or so. Things have been really she loved, uh, um, I was always impressed with what Burberry did. They went from a raincoat company to a lifestyle across a broad range of products. Umbrellas, do think, dog yeah. coats. <laughs> do you think that's a lesson that can be learned by Coach? I think so. I mean, I think that's exactly the kind of company they're looking at and saying, look, we want to become that. We want to become this lifestyle brand, not just have the plaid inside the trench coat, but the plaid on bikinis. So maybe now we'll be seeing Coach everything soon enough.